Emperor. I have a girlfriend. She's my assistant in Mary Kay, and I tell you, that girl sleep more than anybody I've ever seen sleep in my life. I told her one day, I said, you know what? You sleep so much, I know the pillows and the sheets tell you to get up off of them. And you sleep more than 24 hours, because you make it out of 48. Even 24 hours in a day. It was 24 hours that it all changed in my life. But I'm going to give you an outline of my story. And we're just going to take it one chapter at a time. And when I say my, that means just turn the page. It's just an outline. You know, like one of those sticky notes. My story. Chapter one. Take your phone out. Y'all know your phones, right? This is time to take them out. Take your phones out. And I want you to text this number. Before you text it, this is what I want you to put in. I want you to take this number. Nine, one, two. Six, nine, five. Five, five, three, three. You are a hidden gem. I want your name and I want your phone number. Because there's going to be some times that you're not going to know your strength. You got to find it in the midst of right where you have fallen. So guess what? Right now, somebody's saying, I'm in the thing. I'm in it. Some of you are still in it. Some of you are saying, I was in it. And some of you are saying, I got up and I got out of that thing. I don't know which one you're going to need to text me. But you're going to text me, I'm in it, I was in it, or I got out of it. And I'm going to return it with my electronic business card. And when I do, I'm going to be your prayer partner. I'm going to be your prayer warrior. But when you hear this outline, baby, if I can't do nothing else, I can get a prayer through. I thank God know I can pray. It's on Jesus with his Holy Spirit guiding me. I can get a prayer through. Here's the thing. When I got up, my testimony became my motivation. And I began to share. But for the first time, you will hear the outline of it all. I was born on January 29, 1958, in Jacksonville, Florida. I was so bad, girl, it snowed. Look it up. It snowed in Jacksonville, Florida. And guess what my mama said? It stuck to the ground. Four inches. Look it up. If it's a lying tell it, my mama told me. She's sweet as she can be. My childhood, it was great, you guys. I had such a close family. Brenda and Mr. Richard and all of them came down when my daddy died. And my childhood, oh my God. My daddy, girl, he was GPS for GPS then. Now my mama, girl, she rapped before T.I. Did I tell you not to do it? He told you it's all right, beat me with that belt. Y'all, my siblings, I'm the middle girl of three girls, and I have three brothers. It's six of us. Elon, we had a station wagon, and a dog, and we were like the Brady Bunch. We were just the black Brady Bunch. <laughs> my childhood was amazing, but I was a daring child. I was different, and I was different in a good way, because... I have a discernment, a very high, keen sense of discernment. Don't play with me, y'all. I can pick you out in the room and pick you up and twist you around your mind and put you back down in your same suit and you'll never know you was flying. Oh, my God. 
I can get next to people and say, Lord, transfer her spirit and tell her what she really like. Uh huh. Don't play with God. My schooling. Lord have mercy, Jesus. I was in all the fights. I was just fighting me for no reason at all. Chick girl say, You left. You yes. You don't look like us. You look like you have battle and took her chocolate milk and squirted it in my face. I'm like, you know what? This is great. Get one girl, I'm real nice to say, y'all don't know, but a nice thing. She was there, flip her hair, flip her hair, flip it. I lined it up in the pencil shop. Flip <laughs> it one more time. <laughs> it's gonna be straight. But they gonna be for the beautician. I took my sister's lady in the pencil shop and kind of ran on up. They just fired me for no reason, you know? Then I took some sisters in the home economics and a girl had on a heart attack and she popped me one good time. You look green eyed helper and I took the sister and cut her heart attack. <laughs> they were just fighting. But guess what? I was an unofficial fighter in the physical, but I was a prayer warrior fighter in the spirit. I was being picked out to be picked on for a purpose. God had purpose. Because guess what? That's how I became a good prayer warrior. When you know how to get on your face and eat some carpet and bend them knees and fight for your children's life, fight for your life, fight for other people's life, you're a fighter. And I had to learn, and it was a purpose. So when you go through something, I thought God had lost his mind. He said, you didn't go through all that for you. You went through that for somebody else. I said, well, this is crazy. I just thought real with it. So, my children, my grandchildren, I have three children. I'm so excited. My kids are just beautiful. I have an oldest daughter, Erica. She's in Jacksonville, Florida. And then I have my baby girl, Terrica. She's in Atlanta. And then I have my son, which I have to say this. He's like a celebrity. He won the $20,000 off the Steve Thunder, uh, the Thunder Drone. And the boy is always making something. You know, I'm going to tell you this. Guys, you're going to really laugh. I, it was just me and him. At that time, my toilet tissue kept, you know, ended up missing. I'm like, where's the toilet tissue going? Ain't one big one in here, so where did it go? He real tiny little something. This boy was taking my toilet tissue, rolling it up in a little ball like this, putting it in the bottom of his tennis shoe so it wouldn't crease. He was 13 years old. An entrepreneur. Now he's the owner and the CEO of Clean Collar. He designed what you put in the back of the collar to keep your shirt from getting dirty. I was like, wow. I was so mad that they didn't know what to do. So, but he's good now. 